Hi, I'm Dr. Andy Thompson, and I'm a rheumatologist. Today, I'm going to talk about cyclophosphamide for the treatment of vasculitis and lupus. You can visit our website, www.rheuminfo.com, and print off one of our cyclophosphamide picto pamphlets to follow along with this video. Cyclophosphamide is also known as cytoxin. Now, cyclophosphamide can either be given by tablet or by an intravenous infusion. The tablets are taken once a day, while the infusions are given every two to four weeks. You'll need to discuss the dose with your doctor. It can take six to 12 weeks for cyclophosphamide to work, so you'll need to be patient. Now, there are three things you need to do when taking cyclophosphamide. You should discuss these with your doctor. First, it's important to get regular blood testing every two to four weeks while taking cyclophosphamide. This is to make sure the medication isn't affecting your blood counts. Second, cyclophosphamide can make it slightly harder for you to fight off infections. So it's best to stop taking cyclophosphamide and call your doctor if you have a fever or think you have an infection. And finally, don't get pregnant or, bre or breastfeed while taking cyclophosphamide. Cyclophosphamide can harm an unborn child. If you're having sex and could get pregnant, it's important to use birth control. Now I recommend the birth control pill. Some people can feel sick to their stomach, have stomach pain, or develop diarrhea when they take cyclophosphamide. Let your doctor know if this becomes a problem. Cyclophosphamide can rarely cause a rash, sores in the mouth, or thinning of the hair. Cyclophosphamide can irritate the bladder. Now this can cause pain and bleeding. So if you notice blood in the urine, tell your doctor immediately. It's important that you drink eight to 10 glasses of water a day. Cyclophosphamide can affect the ability for women to become pregnant. It can also affect the sperm counts of men. Now these effects may be reversible when the medication is stopped. But if you're thinking of future pregnancies, you should discuss this very carefully with your doctor. And finally, when used for long periods of time, cyclophosphide may be associated with a small increased risk of lymphoma, skin, and bladder cancer. You can discuss this with your doctor. If you're taking cyclophosphamide, you should call your doctor if you feel sick and want to stop, if you're concerned about any side effects, or if you've stopped or want to stop the medication for any reason at all. Now for cyclophosphamide, there are a few other specific reasons to call your doctor. If you develop nausea or diarrhea, if you have a fever or think you have an infection, if you notice blood in the urine or pain with urination, if you're pregnant or planning to get pregnant, or if you're planning any surgery. I hope you found this video to be useful. For more information, please refer to our website at www.roominfo.com.